to the Pilates Show Monday, where we take our Pilates brain and body outside of the studio and into the real world. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're going to be talking about Joe's favorite spa treatment. As written in Joseph Pilates' book, The Return to Life, um, he talked a lot about dry brushing the body and how it has immense benefits for you, not only your skin, your circulatory system, but also your lymphatic system and detoxing. So let's talk a little bit about what he outlined so beautifully in his book. So this is a natural bristle brush that you use for dry brushing. Here it says wet and dry, but there's something really beautiful about using a body brush on dry skin. Um, the deal with that is, is that when your skin is dry, it's much easier to buff off the dead skin that's always on that kind of first layer. It's easier to unclog the pores and really get these natural bristle, bristles to do their magic. Now, why would that be different if you were wet? Well, when you're in a shower or a bath, the warmth of the water heats up the sebum of your skin. And what it'll do is it'll start to disperse it and trap some of those dead skin cells and trap it into the pores or on top of the skin. So you don't get such a thorough um, exfoliation of your whole body. So it being dry, it's so much easier to dust that dead, layer of skin off of the body. Now, what you want to do, there's a really nice protocol that you go through for this. This is what I learned when I went to medical aesthetic school. So first things first is you always start at your extremities. So you're going to go distal to proximal. So I always usually start at the feet and work up the legs and move it all the way to the heart. So you do one leg at a time and you leave no stone unturned here. And the idea too is that you're really doing this in a circular motion. So if I'm gonna be dry brushing my leg, I'm actually always moving the brush up the skin in a little bit of these uh, half circles or circles. And you want to keep bringing that energy up towards the heart for detoxification. You want to spend extra time in areas of your lymph nodes. So that's the groin and the armpits. You really want to try to get the back. A lot of times there is um, brushes that have an extended handle that's really good for getting the back body. But um, you just want to take your time. It takes about, you know, seven to 10 minutes while maybe your bath is filling or while your shower is heating up or before you get in. Sometimes I even like to put a face mask on before I do it um, so that it's drying as I'm dry brushing my whole body. This is again, it's gonna rev up your cellular generation so that when the old skin cells leave, the new ones come forth for beautiful glowing skin, it's gonna help to unclog your pores, to allow sweat to push out toxins easier. And that also the pressure of the brush, it's not too hard. We're talking about mm, if you took a nickel and put a nickel in your hand, that's the same amount of pressure you wanna use with this brush. That's a magic kind of weight pressure because what happens is, is that that talks to your lymphatic system that lives subdermally, right? And so what that helps to do is again, get especially for the legs, it's hard for the lymph system to come back up the body because it doesn't have a, a pump like the circulatory system has with the heart. So by doing this nickel weighted um, pressure that helps to get the limp to travel up the body, anything more than that kind of goes more into the musculature. So we wanna keep it skin deep on this one and um, your skin and your body will glow and absolutely thank you. And the other thing that you can do if you don't have a brush, which I highly recommend, you can always use these nice little loofah gloves. These can be really great to scrub the body. You can use something like this. Now, with both implements, with both tools here, because we are talking about dead skin, so you wanna be really hygienic, you wanna wash 
both of them after each use with um, some soap and then really let them air dry. These have these nice little hooks that I try to open up the fingers, let them air dry, try to keep them away from anything. You don't want to just ball them up and throw them in a corner. That wouldn't be very hygienic. Same thing with the brush. You want to really, and a lot of times what I use is um, baby shampoo. I wash all of this, get it nice and clean, and then I hang it from the rope so that all of the moisture can just drip off and dry from there. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or forum.